here in the office of Love Bonito, right, and we're surrounded by lots of newly shipped clothes. You know, we might have heard of Love Bonito because they're one of Singapore's most famous fashion online retailers. And more surprisingly, it was started by three very young gorgeous ladies who brought it from humble block shop Bonito Chico to what it is today. So we're here today to find out how they do what they do, so let's go. So we're here with Viola, one of the bosses of Love Bonito, who's going to show us around. So before we get started, who's Bonito? There isn't any meaning to, to Bonito Chico, it just means pretty boy. So the business wasn't actually started by you solely, it was started by two more other um, partners, right? My other business partners are Velda, my sister, and Rachel, who is our childhood friend, so we all grew up together. That's why all three of us decided to start the business together. This is my sister Velda and we are in our inspiration room. This room is where the whole process starts. That's why it's called inspiration room. So where do you get your original inspirations from? Are they from magazines, from runways, from TV shows? Mostly runways because that's where everything happens. And then after that into the high street style. Yeah. And travelling, whenever we travel, we find that we really draw inspiration from not only their fashion scene, but the culture there as well. And we come back and discuss about them. Alright, so take us through the design evolution process sure. from start to finish. How it all starts is that we pass our suppliers a particular design and how we would like to translate it into a Love Bonito piece. And she will do up a sample piece and um, it will come with the colour chart. So we get to pick up the colours and you know, find out the right combinations that will go up onto Love Bonito in future. And for this particular blouse, there are two colour charts because um, we go down to the exact material for the, the base as well as for the shoulders. After we get this piece, we will try it on, make sure all the measurements fit and that it looks great and all that before it actually goes into the manufacturing line. So that's where all our stocks will come. Yeah, and then there comes the next step of what we do, which will be the photo shoot. Welcome to our walk-in wardrobe. This is our studio actually, and this is like my favourite place to be at in the whole office. Yeah. You can see at the back we're actually conducting a photo shoot as it is ongoing. How do you choose your models? The Love Bonito girl would encompass someone that is sunshiny, smiley, and more of a girl next door kind of mm -hmm. look so that our customers can relate to her. So how do you style the outfits that you choose for the shoots? If you look to this side of the studio, um, the racks of shoes and bags, all of this are used by our stylist when it comes to photo shoots. So beforehand, she will uh, pick out from all these pieces um, and then style the outfits accordingly. At the back of our studio is a makeshift changing room. Uh, this is where they touch up on their makeup, this is where they change and where they take a break from in between shoots. So after all the fun and goofing around as you've, as you've seen during our photo shoots, um, this is where the hard work begins. So basically after we collect all the pictures from the shoot, we'll pick the best, after which we'll do some Photoshop to make sure everything looks nice and good and then it goes up online. How much Photoshopping do you do? So Jeannie will actually take a look at the picture and we'll just see which parts we need to improve on. Currently, she's trying to remove all the shadows and making the background white because we want the background to be white. In that way, the uh, Fiona, our model here, will pop out. This is the before, the background is grey, and then this is after where the backdrop is white. Now we'll do more of the aesthetics part. We'll make sure that she doesn't have much shine on her face because it will not look so nice online. Because she's already so damn gorgeous. <laughs> yes, we agree. <laughs> Yeah, this is before and then this is after. So after the process that we've walked you through, the last step after the photos go up online will be orders coming in. So it's a really long process, right, in this fashion business. Um, after the orders are placed, um, we now come into our warehouse. So this is where the packing and the sending out of the parcels begin. You can totally see Andreas in her OCD, like, acting up. So um, <laughs> how do you organise your stocks. We have um, recently uh, gotten a new space because we've been expanding. Um, so this is a temporary warehouse for us. Uh, we'll be shifting just one floor up where everything will be placed in a proper system where we will barcode every uh, single item. For now, we organise it according to collections, so it's easier for the packers to pick out the stuff. Uh, we also have a shoe corner right at the back. So what do you do when you have excess stock? 
At the end of the day, we will always hold a warehouse sale and that's where we clear the excess stock. How much cheaper is it in a warehouse sale? It ranges between 30 to 50% off the original price. The last one, everything was going for like 10 to 20 dollars. You have to come for the next one. This is supposed to be legendary. That is our secret. <laughs> We're back to our office again and in another cosy corner, we have our customer service and operations team. This is my other business partner, Rachel. She's the head of the customer service team. So basically, this is the customer service and operations team where they handle the orders and the emails and anything to do with the operations. So you have a ton of customers, right? How do you keep them all satisfied? In terms of their product, we do our best to check and make sure that it's defect-free or like there's no problems with regards to the orders. Okay, so how do you deal with like negative feedback or backlash? We always instill into our staff mm -hmm. and our customer service mm -hmm. team, especially, mm -hmm. um, that we would want them to put themselves in yeah. a customer's position, in yeah. their shoes, and uh, tackle every single email, every single negative feedback, mm -hmm. or uh, constructively. So, do you have any plans in the near future to start up a physical retail store? Our niche market is yeah. definitely um, people buying online, yeah. so we're working harder on it first, and once it's stable, maybe it will come in our long term plan. Yeah. Yeah. But not, not for the near future. Do you have any tips or advice for anyone who's aspiring to set up a business like yours? As cliche as it might seem, um, I would say dare to dream because our business started with a dream, started with Velda um, having this idea, hey, let's do something like that. And then um, we realised the dream. So we've come to the end of the episode. Girls, thanks so much for showing us around. Alright, hope you've enjoyed the episode and we'll see you next week.